That's how you know a truck has recently been through Northern Ontario. <laughs> wow. Exactly how old Blue looked then too. everybody from the great town of Headingley, Manitoba, just west of Winnipeg. Slept here tonight. I don't usually sleep in this area because, like I said yesterday, if I'm in this area, I usually go home. But I have a load on my trailer behind me. I have a 53-foot open deck uh, flatbed. I have it fully loaded, and it needs to be delivered into Winnipeg this morning. So we're going to go get that off the trailer, and then we can go home. This is a pretty big lot, and yet it still fills right up every night. Overflows, actually. You got another truck stop down the road a little further to the west, down the same, uh, down Trans-Canada here in Headingley. Uh, the Husky truck stop, that's another pretty big one, lots of parking. Another co-op down the street there, it's pretty big as well. But Winnipeg is kind of a hub of trucking. Anyone coming from the west going to the east is going to come through here. You get a lot of truck traffic. They call Winnipeg the gateway to the west. So western Canada has a lot of raw materials, a lot of mines, a lot of lumber. Whereas the east has a lot of manufacturing. So you'll see a lot of like steel loads, like the one I hauled from Ontario back here a few weeks ago. You'll see that coming out of Ontario. Steel or those reels, remember that? And then out of the west here, you'll see lots of things like, you know, lumber. A lot of oil from uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan. All the stuff needed to manufacture stuff. Oh, nice peat there, eh? Look at that. Nice.
18 straps that I have to take off, load, and roll up. Won't take too long. Not nearly as long as it took to put them all on and tighten them up. Getting kind of excited. Once I'm done here, I gotta go home. Just gotta get myself lined up where they want me. Get all my equipment off and let them do their thing. Kind of a tight yard in here. Gonna make sure I don't hit anything. That'd be embarrassing. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's tell the e-log that I'm unloading now and get geared up. It's not very cold out today. Unloading cargo. On duty unloading cargo. I'll shut the truck off, turn my engine heater on. Keep old blues powerhouse all nice and toasty. bunk heater on keep the cab all nice and toasty okay so it's only about minus 12 outside so what is that in Fahrenheit I don't know not bad probably what in the high teens or something I don't know get myself all ready to go We'll do some work, and we'll go home and do some more work. Got to work on that nursery. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, here you are. <sighs> Baby is coming in about five, five weeks or so. Somewhere around then. Actually, I'll leave my glasses in here because they just fog up anyway. I'm wearing this. Ah, oh, man. So I have to get that nursery ready. I have a crib to put together. Got a play place thing to put together. Got a stroller to put together. I gotta paint the walls, let them dry. <sighs> Probably paint them again. What else do I gotta do? Oh, we gotta buy new curtains. We gotta hang up the decorations in the nursery. Okay, overwhelming. Let's let's uh think about that later. One problem at a time. Actually, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. One task at a time. Task. Not a problem. I enjoy making the nursery. I'm really enjoying it. It just takes time. So I'm gonna quickly take care of this, get this unloaded, and get out of here, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. colder than it is today yeah glad that's done I got two forklift operators unloading me now <laughs> cha-ching oh, faster the better boys I want to go home so from here I just got to drop the trailer off at our yard and then go to the shop I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wash Old Blue. If I'm gonna do it myself, it's a little bit cold to do it myself still. In summertime, I could save money with that. But wintertime, it's a little bit harder because the water freezes as soon as it hits the truck. It's hard to wash anything when there's just like a layer of ice over all the dirt once you rinse it. <laughs> so I'd like to get truck washed yet and then uh, we'll head home. Bath time. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I stepped outside. Uh, I didn't know they had started already. I got my tarps on my catwalk, right? And I stepped outside, I was just gonna <coughs> take the tarps off the catwalk for them, right? 
I didn't know they started already on that side. Sprayed over the truck and got me pretty good. My fault. <laughs> oh well, it's just water. It's okay to get wet every now and then, I think. I'll dry myself off and uh, I'll just I'll just wait till they're done. <laughs> I was gonna move them so that they could wash under there, right? But that's uh, just a small little area. Then I'll clean it when I get to the shop. Too late now. I forgot about it before. Uh, I forgot to tell them about that before I, they started. I'm at the PBX Truck Wash Bay in Blumenor. My first time here, I've heard really good things about it. My dad comes here all the time. Uh, he likes getting his truck washed here. It's just sort of like a blue beacon. Like they got, uh, I come into the wash bay here. They have two guys, two or three guys, washing my whole truck right now for me. I can just wait in here. And when I'm done, I can go up front and pay. It's, so far I've been very happy with it. I mean, I got my own little, <laughs> my own little bath. It wasn't so bad. I just stepped out of the cab here and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to take the tarps off, right? So I quickly jumped out and then, oh, they had already started. Not their fault, totally my fault. So, from here we go back to the shop, park Old Blue, gonna be home for a few days now. I've got a few appointments in the coming days. A few things to take care of. Now that, was thorough. Great job. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that is way better than any blue beacon I've ever been to. They scrubbed the whole thing down, went through every little corner to make sure it was cleaned off. They had these platform ladders. They climb up a ladder with a big platform. They can stand over my truck and scrub the top of my truck and visually look down and see that it's all clean. I'm coming back. It's about the same price as Blue Beacon, maybe a little cheaper. They have different packages, right? You have to go to their website, uh, uh, pbxtruckservice.com, I believe it is, or you can just Google PBX Truck Service. And uh, you just call ahead, you gotta make an appointment. But I got in right away. I called in at 10.30 and I made an appointment for 11.15. Sometimes you gotta wait a little longer, but it took about 45 minutes to wash the truck. So they do go, it does take a little longer than a Blue Beacon, but that's because they're a lot more thorough. If you just want a quick wash, like a Blue Beacon type of wand wash, you can get that too, it's cheaper. But uh, I went for the brush and scrubs and everything. But after everything's said and done, it's around 100 bucks Canadian. So that'd be what, around 80 bucks US. happy trucker right now. Now I gotta get this to the shop without getting it dirty. <laughs> they even did under the hood and everything. Yeah, uh, better than Blue Beacon. Better than Blue, and I really like Blue Beacons, that's saying a lot. They also do wheel polishing here as well. They used to do like, stain, uh, like the aluminum polishing for tanks and stuff too, but uh, I think they just do wheels right now, if, if that's something you're looking for. Obviously, I would recommend uh, you use Bull Snot if you want to polish your truck. That's all I use on my truck. And Bull Snot is a company based in uh, Georgia, in the USA, but it also has a uh, Canadian division up here in Canada. You can go to bullsnotcanada.com or if you're in the US, you go, you go to brownox.com check them out. I like having a clean truck. So I've got a nice friendship and partnership going with Bull Snot and that's all I use on my truck. I mean obviously when I go to a truck wash like this it's uh, a little different but in summertime when it's warmer outside and I can wash my own truck uh, it's like I said a little different sorry just backing into my spot here I didn't want to hit a cement pole there <laughs> all right I'm gonna go inside say hi to the good people make sure all my bills are paid and uh, accounted for I feel like I'm parked very crooked I parked extremely crooked here 
I, I cannot allow that. I cannot allow that. Why am I so crooked? Oh, because he's crooked. I lined myself up to the truck beside me. He's crooked. Oh, okay, well. You can be crooked all you want. I'm going to be straight. Here we go. Good enough. Go inside and check things out. I also need to get a new little calendar for up here. This one's from last year. I haven't gotten a new one yet. I'm going to go see if they got one. New calendar. That's straight. Oh, well, oh. straight. Oh, that's straight. Not straight enough for me. Okay. Okay. We are through January already. Into February. There we go. Now I can tell what day it is. I always have to have a calendar somewhere in the truck, otherwise I forget what day it is and what month it is. All right. What? Baby's coming quick. And I just bought them their first truck. Just like daddy's. Almost, this has the raised roof with the windows up here. I have a lower sleeper, but close enough, right? Not even born yet, and you already own your own truck. Old Blue is clean, parked, all tucked in. See you in a couple of days. So tomorrow, we have a photo shoot, a maternity photo shoot. It'll be fun. We've got to drive way out to Portage for that. Uh, Sunday... What do we got going on on Sunday? Nothing. Baby nursery. Then Monday, I think there's a doctor's appointment? No, Monday's a holiday. That's right, Louis Rael Day. And then Tuesday, we have an appointment. We got a dehumidifier installed under our house in our crawl space. Have I told you about this already? This needs a video all on its own. Dehumidifier down there, and the one we got is faulty. And it wasn't working, so thank God for warranty. We're getting a new one installed on Tuesday, so I'm gonna be home to help Britt with that. Because last time they came, they installed it. I was on the road, and uh, normally Britt would be able to handle that kind of stuff, no problem, right? But the dogs were being brats, and they were barking and barking at the strangers in the house, which is their job to do, right? Can't even really get mad at them for that, but it was a lot for her to handle while the strangers were in there because uh, uh, she's very pregnant right now. Stay, stay, hey, thank you. Thought he was gonna cut me off. So I want to be home when they do the because they're gonna have to take the old one out and they put the new one back in, and I just want to be there to help her with everything and make it go a little easier. Uh, so that'll be in the morning into the afternoon, and then after that, we'll. Uh, be available to leave again. So four days now at home. Someone got you flowers? Yeah. Secret admirer. Does he have a great beard? Maybe. Does he like trucks? Possible. That's a good guy then. <laughs> Valentine's. Blech. Britt's not a big Valentine's Day person. She, I, I on Valentine's Day, I sent her a message. Said, "Will you be my Valentine?" She I didn't even. It. She ignored it. <laughs> she didn't even answer back. I, I was laughing about it, but it's like I'm gonna try anyways. So I was gone for Valentine's Day. So this is my first time back since then. So I got her flowers anyways, and it says, "Be my Valentine." But they're beautiful. For I my appreciate Valentine. the flowers. It doesn't even ask. This one's not even asking. This just says this is for my Valentine. You're my Valentine every day. I don't need a specific day to love you. <laughs> and I went to the mail just now and I found this in the mailbox. And I was very confused. It says that it comes from, uh, oh, and I thought I saw it on here, from Missouri. 
I'm like, well, what in the world from <laughs> Trucker G? You guys know Trucker G? Trucker G has seasoning salt, the G Spot seasoning. <laughs> it's Clever. the spot every time. Just, re just reading the labels, YouTube. Just reading the labels. Seasoning. Uh oh, you're gonna get a flag. <laughs> The love your meat has been wanting. <laughs> Clever guy. <laughs> and he gave me a sticker. Thanks. Thanks, Trucker G. <laughs> uh, that's good. You guys can find him on Facebook. Just look up Trucker G. Just move these toothpicks up there. Right there. Perfect. Also got a letter here or something from ANC Mats in Alberta. Let's see what it is. Congratulations! We've been watching your Trucker Josh vlogs for a while now and are really enjoying them. Alex also drives a blue Kenworth, a 2004. Nice. Mostly Alberta and BC, but occasionally comes to your neck of the woods. Wishing you and Britt all the best and much joy as you welcome baby G and become a family of three. Alex and Carol Metz. Well, technically it's a family of seven, but I'll let it slide. Family of three humans. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> I will add this to the laundry pile. We got some other new clothes today. Also got another box here. It's from Floyd in Odessa, Missouri. I wonder what's in here. This nice rating. Wow. Fancy. I know we said we would open these on a live stream, but I couldn't wait. Fair enough. We'll do a live stream anyway. We haven't even released our registry yet. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Josh, Britt, and Baby G, and a whole handwritten page. Look at this, handwritten, not even typed. That's a gift all on its own. I'm gonna read that in a bit. Open that in a bit, let's see what he said. Oh, pardon me. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Goodness. Let me get the camera. Oh. Let me get the camera. Let me show you guys. Oh, you know the way to my heart, guys. Oh, look at, look at, it's Disney. It says Baby G. It's Disney, and what's on the other side? Have you seen yet? Yeah, I saw a glimpse of it. Nice. Nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. You got the best of both worlds. He really did. Yeah. yeah. Got my got trucking. Got your niche. Got my sick obsession. Sick obsession. <laughs> Disney obsession. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. I'm going to read your letters now. This uh, will be getting lots. It's lots a long of letter, so I won't read it all here on, on the vlog, but uh, I got it right here. Steve and Liz Floyd. 
from both of them. I thought the, the first name was Floyd when I read it on the box there. A family name, dear. Steve and Liz Floyd. That's awesome.